Hello world, I'm Mandy Mundo and welcome to my YouTube channel. It's time for, you guessed it, another packing video! And I know how much you guys love my packing videos based on how many views my last one got. But anyway, if nobody ever watches this, I don't care. At least I can rewatch it and see what kind of packing mistakes I keep making. So for this trip, we are actually leaving for the airport very soon. Um, so I'm already in my airport attire, but we are going on a 15 day trip to Greece. We're going to Athens first, and then we're doing some of the Greek islands. I've never been on any 15 day trip before, let alone 15 days in one country. So I'm pretty stoked and hopefully I don't get too sunburnt or burnt out. Uh, we'll see. So my bag, we're doing things a little bit backwards this time because I've already packed and I don't want to unpack it and then repack it. I don't have the time and it took me a lot of time to pack up the packing cube. So we're just going to unpack it. I'm going to tell you what's in it. But my bag is the same one I used on my Maldives trip. So it's the Eagle Creek 40 liter Global Companion. And on my Maldives trip, I fit one week of Maldives in this bag, and now I'm trying to fit 15 days for Greece in this bag, which I was successful, but it's definitely hard to zip up. Um, so I have a um, I, I have a little packable day pack in here to see if I do end up bringing stuff back. Then I have like um, I can check this bag and then have a carry-on bag. So on the outside we have a little hand sanitizer. In this top pocket, I have uh, my masks, so my cloth mask and some FFP2 masks. I've also got some other masks in my um, binder that has like my important papers and stuff. In these front pockets, I've got just a bunch of random stuff, so charger, earphones, deodorant, um, adapter for the charger, that's in that one. In this one, I have my portable charger, um, some makeup, a pen, and then a disposable razor. I don't have anything in this front one. I usually put my rain jacket in there, but it's pretty full, so um, I'll end up putting my rain jacket in there if I need it, or I'll just wear my rain jacket on the plane because I get cold on planes, so no worries. In this bottom one, I have... A pair of flip-flops, so, um, or nice kind of sandals. I'm only bringing two pairs of shoes. On my Maldives trip, I had four pairs of shoes and I knocked it down to two. So I'm wearing one pair, which I'll show you in a sec, and then I'm bringing another pair. And I also have an umbrella. It's supposed to rain while we're in Athens. So I'll have my umbrella and my raincoat. The allowance for the airline is eight kilograms or about 17, 18 pounds, and this is definitely over that, so hopefully they don't weigh it. If they do weigh it, I'm gonna take a couple things out and just put it in my pockets of my rain jacket. Um, hopefully, <laughs> let me do that. Um, in this top pocket, it's one where you can like access your laptop, so I have um, like my iPad stuffed back in there when I have to take it out for security. I also have my toiletries up there too, so it'll be easy to grab. Let's go inside. Ah! Ugh, stuff to the brim. Okay. So this side first. I have my packable day pack that I'll use for hiking, but also if I want to bring back souvenirs. I have the GoPro case. I also used it to put my jewelry in here too. I have my sand-free beach towel that I used in the Maldives. So I'll use that again. In these packing cubes, um, it's my first time using these ones. These are the Gonex brand. So it's just one I found on the German Amazon. Um, they were cheaper than my other brand, but I wanted to buy both pairs because I wanted to see which one I liked better. And I can probably safely say I don't like these ones as much as my other ones because they were a lot harder to zip. Um, or maybe I just stuffed them too much. I don't know. Um, so I probably will use my other ones that I used in the Maldives trip. 
But in this packing cube, I have two pairs of jeans shorts, two pairs of workout slash hiking shorts. Um, I have, I think, four like workout tops or hiking um, tops. And then I've got like five tank tops, I think. So just for like daily wear. Um, so that's in this one. On this side, I have a laundry bag. I have the floaty stick for the GoPro. I have my toiletries. So it looks pretty full, but it's actually mostly sunscreen. It's sunscreen, face wash, um, toothpaste, my makeup stick, a toothbrush, a small little bar of soap. But yeah, it's mostly sunscreen. I'm just gonna use the uh, shampoo that's at the hotels. Um, if there is one, hopefully there is one, or I'll just steal some of Jeremy's. Um, but it is mostly sunscreen. It's like four containers of sunscreen. I've got 70 and then I've got 110 for, for my face. Um, I have my pajamas that I wore this morning that I just stuffed in here. The iPad's in there too. In this small packing cube, I have my underwear and my bathing suits. So I'm bringing three bathing suits. I've got like, I don't know, 12 pairs of underwear in here. It's a lot. Um, and I've got one sports bra and then I'm wearing my other bra. So only two bras. And what else is in here? It. Yeah. Okay. And then the last packing cube. So this one has my dresses and then my period stuff. Um, so I've got, I think, like five or six dresses in here and then one romper, which I count as a dress because it looks like a dress anyway. Um, and then I've got my, my period panties in here too. Um, so it's, it's pretty full. They're all pretty full but it definitely makes my bag way too much. So, and then on the plane, I'm wearing this. So a pair of capris, a gray t-shirt. And then I have, oh my goodness, a hat. A hat. And then my shoes that are like hiking shoes, walking shoes, um, obviously breathable, waterproof, uh, very comfortable. So I just like walking them when we go on hikes or treks or just walking around cities and stuff. So that's what I'm wearing on the plane. Two pair of shoes total. And that's it. So be on the lookout for my Greece videos. I'm going to have a lot of them probably because we're going to so many different places. Um, Greece opened up for tourism again. I think it was in like April or May. So it's June and we're definitely going to take advantage of that. Um, I've been to Greece before, but it was in 2017, so it was a few years ago, and it was definitely to a different place, so I'm going to new places this time. So, yeah, that's my bag. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye!